Hello there, my name is Meena Prashant. I am the co-founder of DigitalAccessPass.com, fondly known as DAP. DAP is a membership plugin for WordPress. I am also the creator of a shopping cart plugin for WordPress called SmartPayCart.com. It's one of the most comprehensive shopping cart platform for WordPress. In this video, I am going to take you behind the scenes to show you step by step how to create a sandbox account in PayPal. So say that you have an online business and you allow your users to purchase your products and services using PayPal. Now if you want to test your PayPal buttons, instead of using a live account for your testing, if you have a sandbox account in PayPal, you can use your sandbox credentials for testing purposes. And it's actually very easy to set up a sandbox account, but there is so much confusion around it that I decided to do this video to show you step by step how you can create a sandbox account seller account and a buyer account in Sandbox and use that for PayPal testing on your site. So here are the steps to create a Sandbox account in PayPal. First thing you need to do is log in to your live account. PayPal Sandbox and live account are completely different accounts, but you still need to be logged in to your live account to create a Sandbox account. Now after you log into your live account, go to developer.paypal.com and there towards the right, under the drop down, you're gonna find my account. Click on my account. It will bring you to a page like this and here you will find sandbox details. So click on accounts under sandbox and under sandbox test accounts you will find all the accounts you have already created and if you want to create a new sandbox account click on create account. Now there are two types of sandbox accounts as it's clear from the name one is a buyer account and one is a merchant account. Buyer account is what you can use for your testing and merchant account is what you need to configure uh, in your shopping cart platform or whatever you use uh, to create your PayPal buttons and configure your credentials. That's why you need to create both accounts, buyer account and the merchant account. Let's start with the buyer account. So here I'm going to click on create custom account because you will have some more configuration options available when you click on create custom account. It will bring you to this page and personal account, that's what we are looking to create. It lets you pick an email address. If you don't use the custom account, option then it's going to just randomly make up an email address. Now this email address that you use here does not have to be a real email address. So you can pick whatever email you want. So after you enter your email pick a password, first name, last name, payment method. So here PayPal balance I have entered a big number. Now this is just sandbox you can enter whatever number you want. So you can enter a big number here and that's it. Go ahead and click on create account to create a buyer account. So when you make a test purchase using PayPal and if it is connecting to your PayPal Sandbox account, then you can use your PayPal buyer credentials to make the purchase. All right, so you know the password, you know the email that you just picked. So just enter that to make your purchase. That's it, you can see account has been created. It says processing. In a little bit, it's going to complete processing. Now I'm going to create a merchant account. So I'm gonna click on create account again. So I have selected business here and I'm gonna click on create custom account. I'm not going to click on create here because create custom account gives me more control over the email that I want to use as my merchant account email. It lets me set my own password and all that. So I'm gonna click on create custom account. It will bring you to a page like this and here I'm going to select business. So I have selected an email address. Again, it doesn't have to be a real email. You can make up whatever email address you want here. Password, first name, last name, PayPal balance, you can enter whatever number you want. You can just enter a big number here. I have done that. That's it, I'm gonna click on create account. So seller account is ready as well. So now you can see the buyer account is now processed. It no longer says processing under it. Seller account is still processing. There are a couple more things that you need to do. Uh, one, you need to log in to the seller account and get your API credentials because you are going to be using your sandbox seller account as your merchant account. Now if you use a shopping cart platform like smartpaycart.com, that's my own shopping cart plugin. If you use that, then there are two different sections for live and sandbox. You can enter your live credentials in the live mode. You can uh, enter your sandbox credentials in the sandbox tab. This way you don't have to replace your live credentials. You will have both credentials, one in the live tab, one in the sandbox tab. And when you create your payment buttons in smartpaycart, you can set your button in live mode or sandbox mode. This way the button will connect to the right PayPal accounts. All right, so my seller account has now processed. So I'm going to go to sandbox.paypal.com and log in using my seller account credentials so I can get the API credentials for my seller account. 
All right, so this is sandbox.paypal.com. I'm going to click on login. I'm going to enter my seller email, my password, login. I have logged into my sandbox seller account. So now click on this icon here, click on account settings, because we are trying to do two things here. One, we need to get the API credentials. Number two, we need to enable notifications, third party notifications. This is also called as IPN, instant payment notification. This will allow our shopping cart plugin, our membership plugin to get notification of a successful purchase or a recurring payment through PayPal. So let's start with the API credentials. So when you click on account settings, it's going to bring you to a page like this. So here click on website payments. So under website payments, there are two things, API access and instant payment notification. So let's start with API access. Click on update. And here you will notice there is NVP SOAP API integration. This is the one you need. So click on manage API credentials and it will give you the credentials. All right, so just copy these three credentials because you will have to enter this in your shopping cart platform. Okay, go back to account settings, website payments. Now we are going to enable instant payment notification. So click on update and here click on choose IPN settings enter the notification URLs. So here, whatever is your notification URL, if you use our membership plugin, digitalaccesspass.com, in that case, the notification URL needs to be whatever is your domain name slash dap slash dap dash PayPal dot PHP. All right, so IPN is enabled. This will allow PayPal to communicate with your site. Here I have entered your site.com just as an example, but to make sure that you enter the right domain name uh, if you want to connect a PayPal to your website. That's it. These are the steps to create a PayPal sandbox account. I hope this was helpful. So let me do a quick recap of the steps. So first thing you need to do is log into your PayPal live account and then go to developer.paypal.com and there towards the right under the drop down you're going to find my account. Click on my account. It will bring you to a page like this and here you will find sandbox details and under sandbox test accounts you will find all the accounts you have already created click on create account to create a buyer account and a sandbox seller account you need to create both types of account one that you can use for your test purchases and the other one a seller account you need to use the credentials from your seller account and configure that in your shopping cart platform or in your membership platform and also when you click on create account use the custom option because when you click on create custom account, you can pick an email of your choice. You can uh, enter your password there. So instead of having PayPal uh, created for you, you can select the create custom account for a little bit more control uh, as far as your account settings. So create both types of accounts and then go to sandbox.paypal.com, log in uh, using the seller account credentials and then set up your IPN, instant payment notification URL. So get the API credentials from your seller account and then uh, use that in your shopping cart uh, platform. All right, so these are the steps to create two different types of PayPal sandbox accounts, a seller account and a buyer account. I hope this was helpful. And also I have a podcast called Membership Site Lab. Three words, you can look for it in your favorite podcast app and subscribe. In my podcast, I share actionable tips and advice on how to build and grow a successful and profitable membership site. So just look for Membership Site Lab three words in your favorite podcast app and subscribe so you won't miss any future episodes. That's it for now. My name is Veena Prashant. If you have any questions, you're welcome to ask. You can join my Facebook group. My Facebook group is at membershipsitelab.com group. Thank you so much for spending your valuable time with me here today. Bye for now.